Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are in my parents' bathroom. Yes, very nice. We are in my parents' bathroom because my bathroom is not nice and does not have any windows, which means I'm going to turn out orange and you will not be able to see anything I'm going to be doing today. If you haven't looked at the title of this video, we are going to do a get ready with me video because you guys requested to do this one and that I did a poll on my Twitter account, which I will put somewhere here. So go follow me on that if you're not already. A bunch of people are going out for spring break, like a bunch of people are going to Florida, but I'm staying home. I'm okay with it because I'm probably just gonna be sleeping the whole time. I'm gonna start with my face and I'm going to be using my NARS foundation in the color Medium 4 Barcelona. I really like it because it has a nice mirror in it. Oh hey, look, that's you. I'm just gonna put that on the spots of my face where I feel like I need most coverage, which is probably like around my forehead. So I tried to film this video last night around 6 o'clock, which it is, which is 6 o'clock right now, but it was kind of dark outside, I guess, so you couldn't really see what I was doing, and I was kind of doing it in my room, trying to figure out what lighting would be best, but then I was doing it halfway, I got to my eyeshadows, and I did not like the way it was turning out, so I just like quit with that. I just kind of let it happen in the spots that I need it most. Now that we have that done, we can move on to this other one that I'm going to use. It is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I just put that like around my mouth because it's kind of dark. If you can, if you haven't like figured it out already. I've had this for quite a while and it still works so I'm going to use it. I'm almost out of it though, I'm probably going to have to get a new one. To blend that, I'm going to be using this brush. I'm pretty sure this is by New Techniques, I could be wrong, but this is the stippling brush. And I'm just gonna blend it. Right now, we are going to be going on to our eyes. Should I go on to my eyes already? Nope, we're not. Wow, I didn't bring any of my brow stuff. I'll be right back, hold on. Do not do anything, okay? Hold on. I am back. Can you hear me? I feel like that was in a song. That might be a song lyric. I don't know. Recently, I've been using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. That's usually all I would use for my brows because I feel like it's easier and it kind of looks good. It's really easy to apply, so I'm going to be using it. I have been changing up my eyebrows a bunch ever since I got them done. Like, I would completely like I would do that thing where it's kind of like a gradient, but now that I'm using this, it's kind of hard to do a gradient with this. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on. And it's kind of like straight brows. You can't even see me. Why didn't you tell me? I'm really digging the straight brows right now, so I'm gonna be doing that. You could put too much product on the brush and it would look super dark and pigmented, but I kind of like it that way. But then I would look at the brows and then one of them would look all wonky and like weird. But then I have to like tell myself, Okay, you guys are sisters, not twins, but then the other one is just like a distant relative or something. It does not even look the same as the other one. Let's hope that this one I can do well. This might take a while though. I like doing both my eyebrows at the same time because then I feel like they both look the same kind of. Okay, now that I got the front part of my eyebrows. <sighs> does anyone else not breathe when they do their makeup? Because I do that and I don't feel like that is a good, good idea because I could die while doing this because I usually don't breathe. I feel there's a million people in my bathroom right now just like watching me like, you better not mess up. So I'm sorry if I'm acting awkward. This part usually turns out like really weird so I'll just fix that later. Do you guys like this kind of style of video? Because I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Do they look the same, kind of? I'm gonna clean that up, kind of. I need a Q-tip. I don't know where any of them are in this bathroom, so I'm not gonna use any, just use my fingers. That's okay, though. It's okay. I feel like I made them too dark. <laughs> oh well. I think my eyebrows are done. They look decent. I could go out with these brows. Mm, yeah, 
yeah, they look fine. Now we're gonna prime our eyes. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. It is in this blue tube. And I like to use it like all around my eye. Put them here, like a few dots, then on the other eye too. That wasn't enough. If I could get some out, plus. Oh, oh, oh. And then I put some on my eyelid. And yeah, I just use my fingers for this because why would you use a brush for this? I mean, like, if you do, then that's fine. But, like, I personally don't feel the need to do that. I got a lot of good responses on my everyday makeup routine on here. So I decided that maybe I could do... Oh! Oh! Oops. <laughs> now that I got my primer on my eyes, then I go in with my Fake Up by Benefit. I did use this but like a sample size in my last makeup video and I really liked the product so I got the actual one. I was looking through YouTube. I was looking at these like makeup hacks or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is already a thing. I already know it is but they have like this thing where you cover your eyes like under parts of here like a corally kind of color before putting on your concealer and it kind of like cancels out if you have really bad under eye circles which I get. Maybe I'll try it, but I don't know how it's gonna look like because this one is a stick and if I put it on directly right after I put on my the little orangey kind of color, coral color, it'll probably get on this thing and I didn't want to do that because that was really expensive for me to buy. We're gonna move on to eyeshadow and I got this eyeshadow palette from my mom on Christmas and it is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. It smells really good, like literally it smells like chocolate so my dog is coming. Hi y'all! Why are you here? You wanna be in my video? Okay. Well, he's inside of here. Don't don't eat my makeup, okay? This was expensive. It has like all the shadows that I'll probably ever need in my life. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? Look at it, but I don't know when I would ever use this blue color, but and it smells like chocolate. I think I might go with Bon Bon because it's kind of like a rose gold color. I like that color. I am going to be using my E55 shading brush by Sigma and then just applying it on my lids, I guess. Ooh, this is a really nice color. Should I go with a brown kind of color today or should I go with like orangey because it's spring? Maybe I'll do that. You wanna go? He left me. I might go in with peanut butter because it's kind of orange, as you can tell, maybe. And maybe put that like on my crease or something. And I'm going to be using my E40 Tapered Blending Brush by Sigma. So I'm just gonna put that. Don't mind my face either, okay? Okay, this is how I do my makeup. And I can't see if I put one eye closed because I can't do that. You know, life is hard for the blind. I even have contacts in right now. That looks pretty good. I like this color. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Put it on my crease. Ow! God! Mm. I just swiped my eyeball with this. <laughs> my eye is watering. I really like this color. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, but I do. And it's nice. Quite a different change from the browns that I've always been using. Can you see that? It is orange. Can you see that? It's nice. It's like a sun or flower. Shh! I'm making up and out! Okay. Yep. Now I might go on with the mousse color, which is the go-to color I always go to. That one called mousse. I already said that, but yeah. And I'm going to go in with my... Sigma E47 shader crease brush. It's gonna like put that right here. Can you even see this color in there? I don't even think you can. I'm trying to like, okay, maybe I'll go in with a darker one. I'm gonna go on with truffled up here and put that in the same spot because I cannot see this color. Oh, how was your guys' day today? Mine was pretty lazy, but fun. Okay, now that I have that on my eyes, I might go in with the same color, truffled again, with the same brush. 
putting that on my lower lash line because I never put mascara on my lower lash line because my eyelashes will look like spiders if I do. I'm kind of debating if I would wear this out. Maybe I would. Maybe for a Easter party. Maybe I will. Oh my gosh, wait, tomorrow's Easter. So, if this goes up on Easter, happy Easter. And I hope you got a lot of candy. If not, go to the store and buy some candy. Now I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone with coconut cream, which is just this white kind of color, off-white. I don't know, it's pretty. And I'm just gonna probably use the same brush as I used for my Bon Bon color. And I'm just gonna highlight up here. I'm really liking how this is turning out. I've kind of not been doing eyeliner for a while because I just don't see the need to for me anymore. I mean, I still love wearing eyeliner, it's just that I don't use it a lot. Oh, well, I didn't bring my eyelash curler. I don't feel like getting back in my room, so I'm just gonna use my mom's. Love you, mommy. Yeah, I use two hands, okay? Don't judge me. Wow, this is really good. Ow! Ooh! Oh, you know the pain when you get both your eyelashes from top and bottom stuck in there and then curls it and then it's just messed up. Comment down below if you're going anywhere for spring break because I want to know. Now that I got my eyelashes curled, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect the mascara in... I believe it's black but it doesn't say on here so... I'm not really sure if I like this. I mean, I like the formula of this kind of mascara. Just, I don't like the brush. Oh god, I got it on my eyelashes down here. Just gonna take that out. Um, recently I've been using this highlighter by Benefit. It's called High Beam. I also got this for Christmas and it was very nice. It is really easy to blend out and it's not like any other ones because they're kind of like liquidy kind of. You see what I'm saying? They're kind of like liquidy when you just put it wherever you want to and you can just blend it. This is just a sample size so I might go back to Ulta later on. Maybe someday when I run out and get the full one. Same thing with this one, which I use on my lips because some reason my lips are super pale. I think that's gotta like deal with my health, but I don't know what that means, so. Yes. I mean, I this is like a lip and cheek stain, but I don't really use it on my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with my blush and this is the exposed one. I use the one, I use this one in my other makeup tutorial. And I'm just gonna be using my F30 Large Powder Brush by Sigma. I really like this color. I'm kind of running out, so I might have to go and get me another one. Put some on my nose. I want this to kind of be like, ooh, flowery. She's like actually blushing and stuff. This is what I'm gonna finish off with. This is my look. The close up eyes. Don't know if you can like see that properly, but this is my makeup for spring, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it for you. And if you want, comment down below what kind of makeup tutorial you want to see next because I enjoy making makeup tutorials for you guys. I enjoy makeup in general. So yeah, um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Love you!